Once upon a time, he was a cute, fluffy poodle. It was gifted to a German prince who was imprisoned in a great tower during a terrible long war that lasted 30 years. Eventually, the prince was freed, but then the prince fought in another war and his poodle joined him in battle, caught bullets in its teeth, shapeshifted, and was even said to be the devil himself. Sounds ridiculous. This is a real story from the pages of history about Prince Rupert and his loyal dog, Boy. Boy was a hunting poodle a massive dog who ran alongside Rupert's horses and terrified his enemies. During the English Civil War, the propaganda of the day claimed that the dog was a witch's familiar. It was said that the dog could see the future, could speak, and was immune to any injury. Word also spread that boy was a shape-shifted Swedish sorceress. Now, what evidence did they have that the dog was familiar and that Rupert was a witch? The dog shared Rupert's bed. The dog was affectionate to Prince Rupert in public. And, oh yes, when the dog chose to lie down somewhere, it would walk about in a circle three times, thus casting a magic circle for its enchantments. And if that is the damning evidence, then I know several pets who simply must be demonic familiars. At the time, it was probably simply enough to say that Boy and Rupert were on the enemy side And with Rupert being a skilled royalist tactician, him having the devil on his side made defeat by him slightly less embarrassing. Now, Boy rode with Rupert into several battles and was depicted in multiple wood cuttings during this war as propaganda telling of his demonic nature. When the dog was not present, enemies stated that the dog had turned invisible and was magically controlling the directions the bullets were going and thus who got hit by them. So how could anybody be blamed if you get defeated at the hands of the devil? Now, Fortunately for the parliamentarian forces, Boy's days of being immune to injury and bulletproof were limited. He fell in battle during the Battle of Marston Moor on July 1st. This was 1644. A Puritan soldier sighted Boy with his rifle, and knowing of Boy's bulletproof reputation, the Puritan removed a brass button from his coat, loaded it into his gun, aimed, fired, the button struck home, and the demon dog lay dead. Prince Rupert fled to York, and the great devil dog of the royalists was no more. I do hope you have enjoyed this demonic history lesson. If you want more, you can visit my Patreon through the links in the description below. I also promise more demon dog content in the future for everybody out there in YouTube land. So feel free to leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very, very much, and I will see you soon.